So here I have my new solar panel. This is an experimental unit. Now I am not an engineer or an electrician. So if I can do this, anyone can. So there's a 100 watt solar panel here. And that's generating a certain amount of electricity. Now I did think about putting it on the wall. But then I ended up putting it on this rack because you can kind of angle it to the sun. I just made that simple wooden stand for it, fixed it on. Now that's generating about 12 volts, so that's going through this cable here, through there, and that goes. Th this intake there is actually for the um, tumble dryer, and it goes round the back of these units, and it goes through there into the garage, because the aim was to have a 12 volt power system for the garage. Now, that goes under here to the battery setup down here. Bit of extra light there. Now the power cable is coming in there. That actually goes up to the charge controller but these are the batteries down here and you can see they're not professionally wired up but it doesn't matter too much because they're um, just 12 volt so what I've done is I've connected the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative to give me a um, I think electricians say it's a parallel arrangement so it means there's still 12 volts coming out anyway going back to the story this is the wire here carrying the energy from the solar panel and it takes it up to the charge controller now you need a charge controller in fact i'm going to switch the lights on just there, there we go so going into here we have the current from the solar panel positive and negative so it's pretty straightforward to wire up that's the connectors to the battery and this is the output and you can also charge up your um, USBs which is quite nice now the wires from the output are going up here past my wire supply along there up to the lights Hopefully this won't be too dazzly. Now I did try putting these lights on first. I'll just point to them, those ones there, at the top of the picture. They're actually for um, caravans and trailers. It didn't work particularly well. So what I did was I went to um, Tool Station and for just under seven pounds, I got these three lights that are absolutely brilliant. So my workspace is really well lit up now. Just uh, turn it off to show you the difference. There we go. Of course, modern video cameras are so clever they adapt. Now, let's think about cost. The batteries, I've got an oldish battery there and a newer battery there. And these are old car batteries. Now, if you were buying batteries for these, you'd buy the deep cycle type. But I got those free, that's why, that's why I'm using them. So, two free batteries. Charge controller was 11.50 from uh, online, Amazon or eBay or somewhere like that. The solar panel was 90 pounds, or was it 80? Between 80 and 90. They've gone up a bit lately because of the low pound uh, exchange rate. The lights, as I say, were just under seven pounds for the three. You see the difference there. We have a nice lit up workspace. So a very simple system, costs around about £100 altogether. And as I say, if I can do it, anyone can. So this is completely isolated from the grid. You can have this in any simple home in Africa or Asia or anywhere. You haven't got the fire risks associated with fuels. Burns are a major problem in developing areas poorer areas you've got a safe technology that should last for 
I would hope many years, probably even two or three decades, giving light all the time. And I'm expecting this uh, 100 watt solar panel to supply all the light I need for my work in the in the garage.